Hey, how's it going guys? It's Eric here, and today I'll be showing you my top 10 facts about Ballora in Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery. So, just for more clarity before we begin, these are the top 10 facts about Ballora in FNAF AR, and not the overall series. So, up number 10, we have Ballora's official public launch appeared on Thursday, August 27th. 2020. So Ballora is the newest character in Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery at the moment. So it's pretty awesome to see a brand new character in the game. I believe the most recent newest character was the Mangle if I'm not mistaken. Man that was like so long ago. And of number 9 we have that Ballora was actually teased on Saturday August 15th 2020 and throughout the month. So on that day each subscriber to the Fazbear Funtime service aka each player was sent an email subjected shh and if you open the email it reads it's oh so quiet. So of course there was quite a few speculations toward what this could have meant back then and it seemed that it led up to the arrival of the one and only Ballora. And of number 8 we have that when Ballora appeared in Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery, a rewards icon appeared in the shape of a pair of tickets. Now you may be asking why do they appear as tickets and what do tickets have to do with Ballora? The answer to this is from a teaser image courtesy of Illumix. The teaser image in question appeared as a teared up poster on a brick wall, advertising something called the Fazbear Circus. And if you look to the right side of the image, you'll notice a shadow likely assuming the shape of Ballora. Enough number 7 we have that Ballora charges with purple eyes. You can see this when she's charging cloaked and initiated with the real attack. So yeah, whenever Ballora is charging, you'll have two purple eyes thrusting your way. But wait, does she even have the common courtesy to open her eyes? Or does her eyelids glow purple? <laughs> I don't know, who cares? Glowing eyelids are pretty cool, I guess. And of number 6, we have that as soon as the email that we talked about in fact number 9 came out, fans were stumbled on the prediction of this email was signifying that the lefty would be the next new character in the game. The lead evidence the community accompanied with was the title of the email being Shh. And if you played the Ultimate Custom Night and are fluent with the lefty voice lines within the game, you definitely commemorate that pretty much each of her voice lines begin with Shh and later on it came out to being Ballora. I remember back then regarding the package literally everyone thought Plush Trap was in and would eventually come to the game afterwards and literally I must have been the only person to see that and think of the Mangle. And then that led up to Mangle's appearance in the game. And I was right for once in my life. I guess FNAF doesn't count on math tests, do they? And you know, I also just realized that the animatronics from the uh, trailer and teaser images, stuff like that, like Plush Trap, Lefty, Funtime Freddy, uh, that kind of stuff, I just realized that they were the main, uh, I don't, I guess, target, you could say, that everyone would think of, but instead it would lead up to being some other character. So I think one of the characters from the promotional art and stuff like that will be the lead target to make people think about for the next character coming out whenever. And enough number 5, we have that whenever Ballora jump scares you while you have mini arenas crawling on you, her jump scare will blow the mini arenas away. And that is a hilarious animation there. So yeah, pretty comical element to Ballora here. Really makes you think, like, where do they fall? Perhaps it's like one of the Fazbear Frights books, where the minarinas crawl inside your body, but in this case, they fall into your mouth. <laughs> 20 likes and I'll make a theory video on that. <laughs> Not likely. And this leads me to fact number 4, which is, while in-game against Ballora, one of her tactics are to sick the minarinas on you. It's to serve as a distraction while you try to locate her. And I've actually noticed that the minarinas don't laugh at you like they did in Sister Location's Custom Night. The reason for why is unknown, but possibly a detail that may have just been overlooked by Lumix. Anyway, if you wish to get rid of them crawling all over you, all you need to do is shake your device and they'll fall off. So this is another mechanic based off a past mechanic from a past game. In this case, this FNAF AR mechanic for the minarinas are inspired from Night 4 in Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. And of number 3, we have Ballora's in-game behavior was devised off of Ballora's behavior in Night 2 in Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. Explained in sister location, Ballora cannot see you, she can only hear you. This is the second time in Special Delivery where a character's tactic from an older game has come into play in FNAF AR. The first encounter of this was actually the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 mask mechanic. 
for some of the toy animatronics in FNAF AR. Tell me in the comment section below other characters mechanics you'd be interested in seeing refashioned in Special Delivery. I'd kind of want to see old Foxy in the game where you'd have to flash your flashlight at him to defend yourself. Yeah, just like in Five Nights 2. And now for number 2 we have that while in game against Ballora, you definitely notice that there being no button to admit a controlled shock. So that has to be pretty damn scary not to see as soon as you notice its lack of presence. Anyway, instead of that, you'll have what appears to be an audio meter. So we're introduced to a brand new mechanic never seen before in any capacity in FNAF AR. So if you study the audio meter, you'll discover that it's measuring you and Ballora. But measuring what? Sound? The answer to this is half yes and half no. The audio meter to the left measuring Ballora is detecting her music. A way to know if her bar will jump is the volume in which you hear her music. It's also a way of knowing where Ballora is, which can be, in the right sense, be extremely useful. If her music is getting louder, her bar will get higher, and if her bar reaches the maximum, you will be very vulnerable to a jump scare at too much of any movement. So always be aware of the bar, and don't let it too high. And the audio meter to the right measuring you is detecting the speed of your movement. So like in Sister Location, you want to keep your speed consistently slow. And now for number 1 we have, in order to defeat Ballora in Special Delivery, you have to predominantly collect at least 3 mini arenas. After you collect 3 of them, Ballora will begin charging at you and uncloak. Right then, you'll have to locate her, and if you remember from fact number 2 about no shock button, don't worry. It is believed to shock her automatically, as long if you're facing her in the right way. So yeah, thanks for watching my video guys, and uh, if you did make it this far in this one, uh, thank you so much, I really do appreciate it. And uh, just thank you so much for taking time out of your day to even just watch my video, uh, it really does mean a lot to me. Also guys, you may have noticed the fan art that was featured in this video as well as on the thumbnail, that was actually created by the ever so talented Springy Dust. So if you're interested in fan art, I highly suggest that you go check her out. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below of where you can go find her. She goes by the name of Springy Dust on Instagram. So I highly suggest that you go check her out and uh, tell her I sent you. I'm very honored to feature her fan art in my video and uh, she just deserves all the love in the world. But anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, why not leave a like to show me, it really does help a lot and I really do appreciate it. And otherwise, if you want to see more Five Nights at Freddy's videos, uh, why not subscribe to my channel and I promise you, you will not regret it for more top 10s, theories, news videos, and uh, let's play, stuff like that. And otherwise, if you want to be first to more Five Nights at Freddy's videos, why not study that bell down below. And with all that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay fresh.